Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Lovely Erica, and yes, we are back, okay? We are back in full effect with a new video. I know, I know. It's been a minute. <laughs> it's been a minute. Oh, baby, we back. We back. And we're excited to finally be filming again. So, I am... Let me make sure my phone's off. Okay. So, I am here to be filming a video. I'm going to be doing a nice, a sexy Valentine's Day look that I want you guys to be in love with. And I am going to be using Morphe. <laughs> okay. So, we are going to be using a Morphe palette that was sent over to me from my beautiful people over at Morphe and my Octoli family. Shout out to you guys. Um, they did send me out this product, but I am here to give my honest review, of course. And I'm excited. I mean, I already love Morphe. I'm already a huge fan. Their products are amazing. I have quite a few palettes from them. Like, I faithfully used the Jaclyn Hill palette on me, on my clients, on my mama, my damn dog. I don't even have a dog. But I use this, these Morphe brushes quite often so I'm super excited to be using their palette today and we are going to be using 15s like this baby is beautiful oh, got a little crust <laughs> sorry so we're gonna be using the 15s and let me pop this baby open for you so you can take a gander isn't she cute isn't she pretty Look at that, look at the colors on that. So, I also received this cute pouch. It's cute, it's shimmery, it's so stinking cute. But it comes with some of the Morphe brushes. And I love these. These brushes actually don't have any specific name or numbers to them. Okay, I can't find the name right now, but I will be sure to link it down in the description area so that you guys know specifically what brushes I am using but that is what they look like this is what they look like and I'm sure these are gonna work really amazing for you you know move on to this next segment with your girl I just you know I, I just need you to subscribe okay if you're watching i just need you to subscribe to the channel keep up with your girl follow me on social media all that stuff is boom bam down there below so i need you to please go ahead and subscribe and now after you've done what i've asked you to do let's get it cracking so this is their eyebrow brush. I'm, I'm literally just naming them. I really am not sure if they have names, but I will get I will get them for you. Um, but I am using this to fill in my brows right now. Um, so far, so good. I just kind of wanted to do one off camera just to be sure. So we could talk about this for a little bit. So this brush, I will say when it comes to eyebrow brushes, um, I feel like for me I'm looking for a brush that has kind of more of a it's like the the, the hairs are a little bit harder like a little bit stronger I guess is the word just cuz it I don't know so I didn't think that this would probably work because the brushes are a little soft the hair the brushes the hairs are a little soft on here and so I didn't know if I was gonna be a hundred percent in love with these with this brush but I actually like it so here's why I like this brush it literally applies I hope I'm close enough I wonder if I should zoom in a little bit into my face let let me let me zoom in Uno memento. Okay, so I hope I'm a little bit closer for you guys now. I hope that works. But um, I really do like this brush because I do feel like it takes the product and it it spreads it throughout really nicely. Um, yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm impressed. I like this brush so far. 
pill. I'm actually going to be using a Morphe palette and I ain't going to show it on camera because it's dingy. <laughs> it looks crazy to say the least. This is a 9FW. I'm not sure if they sell these palettes anymore but this was like one of their concealer palettes or whatnot. And I'm going to use that to clean up my brows. I'm going to be using this Morphe brush and I hope that you guys can see that. But I'm going to be using this Morphe brush in particular to do the job. like I do now it's time for us to get into this palette I'm probably gonna start off with a transition shade for effect so let's start off with the color hashtag add <laughs> I'm gonna be using my morphe brush in the number m441 if you guys can see it that's what it looks like and okay So as for me, when it comes to Valentine's Day, I mean, not even just, this is going to be my, this is going to be my first Valentine's Day as a married lady. Um, and we're probably just going to do something chill, low key. Um, and to be honest, actually, we're, I'm going to be working on Valentine's Day, taking clients, doing some makeup, beating some faces, or whatever. And we're going to celebrate our Valentine's Day on the weekend. So, yeah. So far, so good, though, because the way this is both this shade is blending out really beautifully I hope you guys can you know really see that on camera but it's just it's spreading itself out really well I'm not really having to put too much work into this and it could be a combination of the shade itself and the brush um, because this brush is one of my absolute favorite morphe brushes they that this brush is everything so just kind of blend that out and I'm pulling the shade a little bit close to the top of my brow I'm not trying to get too much into this brow bone area just because I want my highlight from the from the cream con from the concealer to stay there I kind of want that to be present but I will bring it up close and up to the top of the brow and then bring it over like so. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to go right back into this palette. I'm going to use the shade Makeover up here. This is kind of going to go right into my crease area. Ooh, look at that. Do you see that? Yes. And that's my, that's why I'm like in love with Morphe brushes because the colors you cannot deny. Woo! Do you see? I'm looking at myself on the screen. Whoa. Yes. Now this, honey. This is a shade. So now I'm actually going to go right back into the uh, cream concealer palette from Morphe. And I'm going to kind of cut my crease. I think... I think this look is deserving 
of that, like where I'm taking this. I think it's pretty deserving of that. So we're gonna go there. We're gonna take it there. And I'm gonna cut my crease a little bit and we're gonna have some fun. So let's do it. I remember when I first was trying to do cut crease anything. I was just like, oh, <laughs> this is one of those things that's just not for me. Um, but eventually I got it. Here, I am dirtying the hell out of this mirror. I'm gonna be using a flathead brush. I'm actually gonna be going in with the shade. Where is it? Besties. <laughs> besties I'm not gonna put it all over my lid I am just gonna be putting it uh, kind of like halfway in the crease area oh 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 yeah is that how we doing things Morphe sweetie now this, that's what you call, that's what you call pigmentation. Wow. Do y'all see? I'm going to be using the shade hashtag bay, and then I'm going to be using the, uh, the next one hashtag fame game, if you guys can see that. I hope you guys see. So there's bay, and then we're going to be using fame game, okay? So let's let's see what these those are talking about this is the brush that I'm going to be using next here if you could see that and I hope it picks up bay really well and transfers the shade on so let's see okay hmm bay okay I don't know if y'all won't see that on camera. So from what I'm looking at in front of me, I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. So Bay is kind of super low key, super chill color. Um, probably, I don't know, I don't know, I, it's there, it's there, I just don't know if y'all can see it. I'm gonna actually go ahead and use this shade here, hashtag influencer, I think this is gonna look better with this eye look, rather than using that this bluish shade here so let's go in with influencer this is a matte shade i don't know if it shows like that on camera but we're gonna add oh my lord yes yes Be quiet, Chris. Quiet on the set. Yeah, I'm obsessed with this look. Legit. Legit obsessed. I'm obsessed. You really want to take your time too when you're blending. You need it to make sense. You need it to be seamless. You need to keep it cute. Okay? All right. Oh my gosh, I love this. All right, I'm pretty satisfied with the eye look. So now I'm going to kind of just go into liner and lashes and we'll be back. So far, everything is on. As you can see, lashes, liner. Yes. 
So I'm actually going to use my Morphe 8W palette. This is a blush palette. I'm going to be using this shade here called Provocative. And I'm going to add a little blush onto my face. Because you want to be blushing. It's Valentine's Day. You want to be cute and like, oh my god, really? <laughs> right? No? Just me? Anyway, so I love this blush. It's super warm. It's real cute. Yes. Going in, highlighting. Highlighting. Oh, yes, this is real cute. Oh. Alright, so I'm gonna actually go back into this palette. I'm gonna be using the shade Bay again. It's gonna go underneath my eye area. We're just gonna keep it pretty subtle. I just want that to be light. I don't want it to be too heavy. Just like that. Okay, and we're gonna do this eye. Always gotta do that ugly face. All right, and that's enough for me. And that's enough for me. I don't want to do too much there. Then I'm going to use this last brush from the set. I believe I've used every brush. Yeah, I did. I'm going to take the shade Now Trending and I'm going to put that right in my tear duct area just to give it a little pop, beady pop, pop, pop. lip gloss this is in the shade frolic it's super cute it's like iridescent almost it's really pretty and let's see what it looks like brand freaking new this is brand new I thought it'd be cute cuz it's pink so let's see Don't know if you could see that on camera. Oh, this is cute. I, I feel cute, but just <laughs> give me give me one second. Just give me one. Just give me one second. Guys, so here is the completed look. Yes, we're in love. We're feeling it. Ooh, this is real cute. Anyways, I enjoyed doing this video. It has been a minute, so I'm so happy to be back and bring you guys a look using the amazing morphe 15s palette if you do not have this palette i suggest you get your hands on it as you can see from when i used it it's super pigmented works really well it's super blendable and of course go out and get you some morphe brushes literally their brushes are bomb.com i was a little i was a little i wasn't working too well with the more flat head brush which was this one if you could see it for when I was using it on my brows but that's okay everything else in the set worked completely fantastic so I'm happy about that and I'm happy the way the look came together as well as suggesting some of my other Morphe, Morphe uh, 
products that I had. So if you don't have anything from Morphe brushes, I suggest you get your hands on some of that. I do have more videos coming your way showing and reviewing some more products, so be sure to stay tuned. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it as well and kind of drop those comments down below. Let me know if you're going to be doing something special for Valentine's today. Whether it's with your friends, your homegirls, or your boo, I want to know the tea. So please subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.